Welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly. And I'm Scott. And we're going to be filling the batteries today, or at least checking them to see if they need to be. Battery maintenance day. Battery maintenance So day. we're down here in the basement, or uh, as I like to refer to it sometimes, the bunker. <laughs> the lair, is what I say. <laughs> down in the lair. Uh, and uh, as you can see... Oh, you can't see. Really. You can't see because the cameraman's not <laughs> moving the camera. Our battery bank is 24 six volt batteries. Each of them have three cells. So, what we're going to do is we're going to check the water level in those cells this month. Uh, some months we will check the specific gravity of each cell and make sure that we don't have any that are lagging behind, which actually a lot of people don't know this. You can tell a battery's state of charge by what the specific gravity is of the water. So that's the most accurate way to do it. They also have a prism that you can use. The light refracts through the water and you can tell what the state of charge is. But we just topped these off with a generator. So right now we're over 25 and a half volts, which is a full state of charge according to the battery meter. And uh, these batteries are, what are they, working on six years old now? Yeah. They look like new, and that's because we try to take care of them. And we try to do this every month. We don't always get to it. Every month may be a little bit overkill. But uh, we keep a, also keep a log. If you'll notice, all these batteries are numbered. And the cells are numbered, one, two, and three, from right to left. And then if we find that one of these batteries that are numbered are have lower than normal or something is different that we're not used to seeing we write the number battery on and what cell usually or just what battery it all depends on what's going on and what we're looking for is a consistent problem if you look back through the months and you see like the third cell in battery seven is always lower right that will tell you if you've if you've got some kind of an issue and that might tell you also it is time to equalize so what that means when you equalize your battery bank you basically put them in a state of overcharge until they're all the same. So you're kind of cooking them a little bit. And that frees the sulfate from your uh, your battery, your, your lead, little lead panels that are inside. And uh, you also want to you know keep watch when you're doing this and make sure there's no loose debris or any flakiness floating around the, in the water, which can be caused by... Um, the lead panels being exposed to the air. That's why the level, the water level is so crucial. You never want to find your panels sticking part way out. If the lead is exposed, they will sulfate, and that is bad. Once that sulfate starts bridging the connections between the panels, you can end up with somewhat of a short in there, and it, it can cause all kinds of bad stuff. So we want to not do that. More often than not, we're only adding water so we can see where the water level is at because it's kind of hard to see. Once it touches that little ring, I don't know if you can see there's a ring with a slot. According to Trojan, who's the battery manufacturer, when it's up just barely touching the bottom of those little, those little, the bottoms of those little rings, then... Uh, right there. This you can see right here is what we want to yes that way you can see the slot and you can see how much water is touching it so there's a little slot right here the end of the pencil and, and the next when it hits that you can tell where yeah the water you is. can tell because it'll kind of adhere to it now definitely below the below the line but not a lot and they the last time they were checked was in November so they've gone a few months and just gone down just a little. We bought a regular distilled water at the grocery store. It's nothing fancy. We always keep a few gallons of it around. You can see when it touches, see when it bridges and the bubbles start to stick to that little plastic fence, if you will.
All right, now that that's done with, I'm gonna go through and check all of these cables and make sure none of them will move. We don't have any loose connections. We also check and look for for any corrosion, yeah. anything loose, kind of we're, wipe them off. We're starting to get, some of them are starting to get a little corroded. This one over here is rusty, but not, not like you'd see on a car or anything. What we don't want is that white powdery sulfate acid. We try to keep this nice and clean. Clean and happy. This here is a uh, thermometer that tells the the temperature of the battery bank. If it ever overheats, that will shut down the inverter. We use this uh, silicone spray, and that basically keeps the oxygen off the terminals. So when we're done checking them, I just give everything a shot of silicone. That also helps with the corrosion. If it can't get oxygen, it can't corrode, right? We don't do this every single time. Just when they start looking dry, and they are a little Yeah, bit. they're starting to look a little dry. It's been a few months since they've had that done. Probably more than a few months. Because I did it in November, and I did not do this. So we know the water level is all good. The terminals are all tight. We made sure we sprayed preservative on all the terminals, so it should be good. I'd say we're probably all good for, probably into at least March. Yep, we're good. Probably middle of March. It'll be almost the end of winter by the time we have to do this again. Yay! So take care, have fun, come back and see us again. This is Whiskey and Sunshine, off-grid. Bye! Bye!